Alright. I apologize if there's a lot of jump cuts right here at the beginning. I'm going to be doing a lot of work to figure out my audio balancing and make sure everything's not super scuffed. Uh, I can't help but notice that my controls aren't working entirely right. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be working with what we got. Alright, 144 FPS, looking good. Spam depositing kind of works, maybe. So I can't help but notice that I can only... I can only use weapon hotkeys to switch to my minigun, which is kind of odd. Odd. So I can't actually use anything but uh, the minigun hotkey. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get going. So, uh, just to clear clarify, I never actually played the game this early on in its development. Those hints are incredibly loud. I started playing after update 24, and this is update 11, if I'm aware correctly. I think it's had some slight improvements made to it, just to make it more playable for us these days, but... To my knowledge, this is roughly around update 11 as far as visuals and stuff go. I'm not sure if there's a way I can remove this this little tip menu from the left side of my screen. If so, I didn't see anything about it in the options, but I definitely am a little... This, uh, the mining animations definitely ring a little bit of a bell for me. They look a lot more familiar to whenever I started out. Also, these old health bars are something I never saw in person. They're very, very strange. They feel very out of place. Also, scroll swapping is definitely messing with me right now. Zipline launcher looking crazy. Doesn't feel like the hopping actually works. Yeah, you get a way bigger bit of hit stun whenever you grab onto the grab onto the zip line. There's also a pretty heavy delay whenever you bring out the laser pointer before you can actually ping. That's a wild feeling too. I do believe Q mining is a thing now though. I'll have to rebind my last button key and my or my last input key to actually do that. Also, I can't I can't tell, but I don't believe there's a terrain scanner in this version of the game, which is kind of brutal. But we're gonna get through it. This is kind of got me thinking, though. Something I've been wanting to do for a while was like a like a new save file series. I, I don't know how I would really press 9 to equip your navigational tool. Yeah, that's not working, game. <laughs> that's funny. But uh, I, something I've been thinking about doing for a while is doing like a new oh, player or like a new save file series. I don't know how I'd really be able to keep that interesting beyond a couple of episodes, but if that's something you'd be interested in, definitely let me know. I think, I think it could be nice from sort of a perspective of newer players seeing how I handle early game and high difficulties with, like, non-upgraded equipment. What is that? What is that chunky button the progress bar? That was weird. Wild. I, I, I don't believe there's a... Oh, there is. Oh, I remember this. I remember seeing something about this. Wow, that is, that is crazy. So does it actually even update? So it, okay, so it actually has to update whenever you open the map. Wow. That, that's the hardest hitting, like, nostalgia thing I've ever, I've, or not even nostalgia, but just hardest hitting thing I've seen so far. That is insane. Alright, well, let's get out of this mission. Let's get back to the space rig. I say, this minigun feels very nice. Also, I think the Praetorians have unbreakable armor in this version. I want that in modern DRG, like, every time, please. 
reload animations, dude. And the gunner having satchel chart. What is this detonator? <laughs> wow, that... Oh, man. This, this is a little bit more reminiscent of the drop pod I started... I was playing with whenever I was new to the game. It's definitely a little more rough than the one I started with, but... The new one is still... It still looks weird to me. Oh, there's Nitra. Goodbye, Nitra. Oh, wow, that end screen really comes at you. I gotta admit that after seeing this in more recent years, I've always kind of wanted the option to have this end screen. Not necessarily to make the end screen faster, but just, like, it's just... It's very clean. I like it a lot. If anything, you just drop off the portraits and just have this, basically. Just this for each of the four players. It's basically the same effect, but I like the the cleanliness of this. I really need a more comfy oh, God. What is this? Stop this. On signing on for Deep Rock Galactic, oh, man. man. Quick we'll join. I forgot that quick join was a thing. What is this screen? <laughs> All right, well, we've seen Gunner, so let's uh, let's move on to something else. An OG space rig. You got the perfect cylinder barrels, no abyss bar. Like I said, I I was a little bit later to the game, so I always had the abyss bar. So this is a little. A little extreme even for me, but it's definitely, definitely cool to see. Oh, look at this. That, that, it, that's a good side-by-side -side for sure. That, that's crazy. How, how simple that is. Alright, well, let's see, can we, wow, even that, that functionality is still in the game that you can press M from anywhere in the space rig to get the, uh, get the mission map up. So I guess this was pre-assignments, so there's not even any assignments in the game. Damn, that's crazy. And this was also early on, so we're missing a couple of biomes as well. Or no, I think we're just, it's just the bow and uh, weld. Cosmetics. Oh yeah, the upgrade terminal used to be over here, and the super early, super, super early on upgrade tree. Oh man, people always asking for flare upgrades. They don't realize this is what we used to have. Upgrades, alright. Oh wow, I didn't know there was grenade upgrades. That's crazy. Alright, let's go in. We'll just do a, uh... 200 more kite. Get it over with quick. I'm not sure how you actually will unlock the other mission types in this. So, we'll just, uh, we'll just go and figure it out. Alright. I really do like the OG look for the engineer's shotgun. It's so clean looking. Oh, that's a nice sound, too. Look at this fossil, man. It's gonna be hard without my cheat mods. I can barely even see. That's a wild looking sugar. Man, it just, it feels so much heavier in this version. Like, everything has a lot more weight to it. I have to say I like the way the game has gone, where everything feels way lighter, but this is a uh, it's definitely shocking. Oh my god. It's like a block of Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the functionality is still there. Oh, goo. Alright, platform gun, let's see it. Whoa, that, that, I remember this model with the little spinny bits around the front. I'm gonna say I remember about a lot of things that weren't in the game whenever I was actually playing, just to be clear, like, 
I, I, I've seen this before, and I think it looks really cool. I got the deposit. Can I? Oh, yeah. This is... <gasps> Host throwing. Host throw is here. Why is it so small? What the? <laughs> it's a little itty bitty boy. Oh, wow, I guess the the particles don't stop glowing either. That's that's crazy. All right. Oh. What? The, what in the world? That this is like uncanny valley. So they they're always awake. They spawn woken up. Their projectiles are ridiculously slow. That's another thing that I thought was really crazy about early DRG. It was it was never like meant to be like this fast paced. Is that one up there or is it glitched out? I can't tell. It was never it never really felt like it was meant to be fast paced. It was like meant to be like a slow holdout style game. Kind of like Payday One versus Payday Two, except it's DRG, OG, and modern day DRG. You can definitely still fast deposit. it. I, I don't know what here is actually like from this time period and what's just a side effect of them reprogramming it so it actually works. Having to actually scroll swap for this stuff is a weird feeling too. Okay, that is definitely another spitballer that's still alive. There's just a bunch of little interactions here that that aren't really, like, working out correctly. That does hurt, though. Okay. Got all the scuffed reload animations that are just, like, tapping the gun. Can you pet loot bugs in this version? You can't. That's crazy. They're also incredibly tough. Holy hell. Oh, this was pretty... Being able to stand on them to suck up the goods. That's, that's awful. That's an awful feeling. Man, Bosco's digging too. Leaves a lot to be desired. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there was Bosco in this version of the game. Like, I'm pretty sure that he was added later on, I thought. Maybe not, but that would also explain why I, don't, I didn't see an upgrade terminal for him. Maybe I just missed it. God, look at those little crusty icons up there. attack yet. Man, this shotgun does not do much damage. I am aware. I would like to have some nitro. OG Krapa. The, the, the crafting minerals really haven't changed much visually over all this time. Still looks very familiar. Honestly, they're kind of due for a facelift. It'd be nice to see. Oh, the default mag capacity on this is four? That's awful. Who thought they could get away with this? Oh, that's two? It's actually three. Did they not have a spit attack? Hello? There's four of you? How many are there? What in the world is this? Tried to use dash. Actual crutch perk. He actually doesn't know how to play without it. God, I feel like I'm hurting them so much more than I should. Woo! Okay, this is a lot. Oh, 
always has turrets ready. Oh, spits! What is that? That sort of sounds like a laser gun. What the hell? Okay. I was not expecting the five Praetorians from the front. That uh, threw me off a little bit. Can't lie. Get him, laser turret. That is a platform gun. Gotta say, the weapon swapping thing is really throwing me off. Having to scroll through them. I don't know if that's fr a bug from the original version of this, or if that was introduced with them porting, like, stuff backwards, but that- I know they're not gonna patch anything in this, obviously, but god, that is making this really hard. Definitely feels like Nitro's a lot more scarce in this version, too. Maybe it's just because I'm literally blind, but... There's, God, how many spitballers do you need? They're actually, like, missing, which is kind of weird. It's like they have drop on their projectiles or something. Okay, the, the Praetorium with no spit is actually kind of intimidating. I don't like it. Where they just kind of rush you down. Alright. In the spirit of the anniversary, we're gonna mine some gold. That shield recharge sound is really trippy. Okay, we got a glitch dirt here, so we got easy tunnel. We do need to find some, uh, find some nitro right here. There's... God, you can't use the laser pointer, like, to break out of sprint. It's so weird. Oh, is that not a weak point either? Yeah, those things are scary, actually. It's kind of hard to deal with. Give me some light right here. Okay. Oh, there's more. Okay, we're gonna be all right. I really want to see these old resupply pods. Three platforms and a mag. It's just nothing is right here. Nothing is okay. Everything is just a little bit wrong. Except for spam depositing working. That That's just oh so right. There, something weird that I noticed is that you actually, whenever you pickaxe, you're like committed to the pickaxe swing. You can't actually like use it for animation canceling. So I guess that's why it was Q mining, not anything else, because the sw the pickaxe swings actually like there's no way to tap cancel them without using something else. That's interesting. All right, at last. I think I'm good for a little while longer. What is this? Oh, that's spawning animations. Crazy. If the pickaxe works, cancel the deposits, which is kind of odd. These loot bugs are tough. because I have, like, scrub weapons, but man, these grunts feel a little bit tougher. Alright, let's see. Let's see how different this is. 
I don't know if you can actually defuse the exploders. I think I missed that headshot either way, but... Uh, resupplies are actually... I swear they used to look a lot... Bosco just broke my interact. That's crazy. I swear the resupplies used to lo look a lot different. The sound design is crazy. Listen to that. Dude, that's my new text tone. That's sick. That's a nice sound bite. I'm gonna try to isolate that. I'm gonna use that. God, that... The no-spit Praetorians are actually, like, really intimidating. Holy hell. Those definitely were... Definitely were a lot more of a co-op, like, capability check in the early game. Because there's really no way to, like, get around them in solo. They really, like, just rush you down. It's kind of terrifying. Alright, this is pretty typical last cave, cave gen. I'm trying to find a leech. I really want to see what, I want to see the OG leech design, because I think it's still the old leech design in this version, where it looks like a sarlacc on the ceiling. I always thought that one looked way more intimidating than the, the new leech, quote-unquote. Wow, that uh, didn't hit very many of them. They are tough. Where's Dash when you need it? Only having one, like, weapon hotkey working is so, so crushing. I promise this is, I'm not gonna keep talking about it, but god, that makes this a lot more difficult. Oh god, why are you so tough? That was, yeah, that wasn't even our swarm, I was about to say. Or about- Jesus! Alright, alright, we gotta- <gasps> There it is. Oh, I have enough for another- No, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll stay and fight this swarm out. We'll stay and fight it out. Get the Play-Doh turret set up. Also, something interesting I didn't really notice is that the engineer actually has two turrets by default in this version. I didn't realize that was removed and turned into a mod later on. Turrets seem real powerful, though. They have stun built into them. Yeah, the turret- the stock turrets definitely got nerfed in the later versions. These are super strong. They're probably really ammo-hungry by comparison, but... They seem really, like... As long as I keep, Oh my god, yeah, like... You saw how hard that acid spitter was for me to kill, my turret just killed it as soon as it showed up. That guy was going. I wonder if the acid spinners are still as terrifying in terms of damage as they currently are. Bosco breaking the interaction with the resupply is really, really irritating. That, that's something I'm happy is gone. Gone for good. Oh, you can jump. You can jump on him? can't, like, you can't stand on him, but you can vault off of him. So some part of him is solid. That's why it breaks the interaction. I see. Yeah, they, it really shows they were in the early, early stages of designing this game that a lot of the, the ammo types are, like, uneven. Like, uneven numbers, like max grenades as being three is just so bizarre in, in terms of how we know Deep Rock today. It still would only give me two, right? Or does it give me one? Yeah, it gives me two. Two grenades every resupply. But caps out at three. That's so weird. Alright, time to go. I like your mother dead! Drum port has arrived. The mule has been called back. Follow Molly! 
Drop pod departing in T minus go, go, five go. minutes. see me trying to animation cancel stuff and the animation is just not being there oh yeah there's no there's no molly hole here let's see if the invincibility works though oh yeah the bugs didn't used to be able to path on the pod that makes this even easier i remember this now because i would always when i was playing scout i would just jump up on top of the pod Safe as houses. Time to go. Excuse me, gents. I don't think my pockets count. Let's see if I can get this in. Quick dash! Woo! Alright, we're good. I don't know if Bosco could revive me right now, so it's probably a good, bad idea to actually go up there. <laughs> the ending is so jarring. Good to see gold is as valuable as ever. Alright. So that's that. Let's see, does that give us access to other mission types? What is holding us back in this? Ah, oh, player level, I see. So is there anything more than more kite and egg hunt? Oh, search and extract. Yeah. I forgot about that. There's a whole mission type that got scrapped that was basically just like a re a remapped uh, mine type of mining mission. That's so crazy. Well, we got to get to that and then there's point extraction. I don't know if I'm going to play enough to get to point extraction, but I'll definitely do a little bit more of this, maybe on another class and uh, see how that goes. Hey, there we go. so crazy looking all right well i'll probably leave it off there and uh we'll pick up driller and scout at some point and i'll uh, at least get some footage of the search and extract game mode so yeah hope you enjoyed let me know if you'd like to see uh sort of a playthrough of current day deep rock galactic like from level one because i think that could be a really interesting source of some some like low level tips and information that i might not be able to think of naturally so yeah just let me know if you want to see that I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.